It's not fair. You just don't even get shot. Well, I do get shot on. Even so, Captain, you are, with all due respect, a first-class pussy who minced his way through the Vickers and Tarts course at Sandhurst because he was good at biology. Anyone else got any questions? Aye. How far away is the moon? You got any STDs? No, I bloody haven't. You spend your time with your hand up a cow's arse. You must have been tempted to slip one in. No, Private. I've never been tempted to slip one in. And it's not their ass, but their vagina. Hmm. Interesting. Now listen, Parrick. We'll be watching you. And if you mistreat Bird in any way, Mac... I'll rip your arms off and stuff them up your ass! Or should I say... Vagina! Communion After Dark
but you feel my anger So many tears left unshed What if I raise the anchor? I know those words in the line Prepare to spread the poison Without a chance to confine What's made us strong destroys us You never let me forget There's never been a reason For any candid regret There's no time for smiles unpleasing I got used to false allies It's not worth the fight or angle Perspective sometimes implies A view from a different angle So do what you're told and keep yourself down and watch me as I drown it all in your sight, but you're blinded by the night, so I'll switch up the light. Cause this is who you are, and this is I fall. I nearly let you win Fears and control So do what you're told And keep yourself down And watch me as I drown it All in your sight But you're blinded by the night So I'll switch up the light Cause this
inside or on the outside. All right, communion after dark. Welcome back. It is the week of February 8th. And uh, I'm here with special guests. Well, first we've got Paradise and Gold, per, per usual. And then we have a special guest from all the way in the UK, Simon Carter. Hello. Wow. Hi. Yeah, it's nice to finally see Simon after all, because yeah. he's been on the show before. Not like some of our guests, but Simon's been on a few times before. Yeah, I've been on several times before, but it's yeah. been a bit of a gap, hasn't it? This last one, it's, it's been a good. It's, it's five been a or while, yeah. Years. yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, I think when I first came on the show, Mouse was probably still in diapers, and uh, Tom Tom had just discovered what crumpets were. Yeah. Uh, and the number one hot topic of every show every week was Mark's ass. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's true. Don't remind him. Oh, okay. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, right. so uh, that was my DJ set, and uh, the last song we just heard was by Qual. That is his new one. Uh, The song was Insides on the Outside uh, from the upcoming release, Tenebris in Lux. That's coming out on March 1st, and uh, it says this will be the first release on his new label, Operation Qual Records. So congratulations, William Maybelline. On launching your label. He's in uh, another band, correct? Besides Qual? Yes, he's uh, Lebanon Hanover. That's right. Okay. So uh, um, I, I'm looking forward to this. It's a very different sound than Lebanon Hanover. Uh, it's his own project. Before that was an artist called Un Hombre Solo with the song El Mecanismo del Sur. Uh, from the release Rotundo Fracasso. And uh, there's a music video for this, and it sounds like Qual. He dances like Qual. So it just kind of reminded me of it. Um, so I put them together. Uh, you can get this track on Bandcamp. And before that was Ohota uh, out of Russia with the song Nihilist, Nihilist. Not actually sure how you pronounce it. Uh, it's just a single that came out that you can get uh, also on Bandcamp. I do believe he's self-released. All right. The fourth song in Mouse Set was by Cinepsyche. The song was This Is Gonna Hurt. And that was the Unity One remix of that track. Uh, that is on the new single, This Is Gonna Hurt, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, and that is on Alpha Matrix. That I believe uh, Cinepsyche is still on Alpha Matrix. Yes, that's so. right. Cool. Some new Cinepsyche. Is that just released? Uh, yeah, I think we might have gotten it a little bit early. Um, but yes, it's not It's not out yet. I don't have to Awesome. Wait. I'll look for the date. New, new stuff that isn't out yet. That's nice. Go ahead, Gold. All right. Prior to that, we heard The Psychic Force, and the song was called Lockdown Lovers from The Matrix downloaded, I guess, Volume 10 or Volume yeah. 010. Zero out on eight. Alpha Matrix. Yeah, and um, you know, usually these are um, Alpha Matrix tracks that have been released already, and um, you know, we're always keeping up on new music, so a lot of times I don't pay attention to them. But this one has a ton of um, exclusives that I've never seen before, a bunch of lockdown tracks. So uh, had to get it. Nice. I like the Psychic Force. I haven't heard anything from them in a while. They're still it's pretty cool. They're still perfect. It's great. Uh, before that was brand new Solar Fake. And this is the song It's Who You Are. Um, this is a, another single. This is the second single. And there's a, uh, a really cool music video for this out now. Um, from their album, Enjoy Dystopia, that comes out this week on February 12th. So finally, it's out. New Solar Fake. I'm in love. But, it's on Out of Line Records. But I got an email from Out of Line saying the, the deluxe set is all completely sold out through them. No! Why? Because it, even... it, it comes with a wallet. What? And it com- I forgot what else it comes with, but that was the cool thing in it. I'm going to have to go find a bootleg version somewhere then. Does it come with Spence Faith on the wallet? 
it, yeah, it comes with um, <laughs> it comes with some of his hair, but it's really it's, 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 it's really Frank Sinise's because he got cut all his hair off. Oh, Frank, why did you do that? All right, and then I started out with uh, Funkerfucked with the song "What If I'm Wrong," and that's okay. from the new album uh, Element One Fifteen out on Repo Records, and that's I think that's the first track on the album. So what, if I'm wrong? what if I'm wrong? Yep. All right, there we go. So there's Mouse's set. Good stuff. Yeah. There we begin. Do we got Alpha Matrix bands there in honor of uh, Simon? No, you, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you just played them. <laughs> yeah. Just because. Absolutely. And I'm glad <laughs> you didn't right. uh, too much about them because of so many on Alpha Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't remixed those two. Uh, that's <laughs> awesome. All right, so we're going to do our there. shot now with Simon. Wait, yeah. I left my shot somewhere. Uh oh, Mouse is looking it. for a shot. Yeah, I just, remember I just grabbed a, a load of stuff really that was in the cabinet, so I'll just stick some <laughs> Baileys together <laughs> with maybe a bit of Jaeger and some There parlinka. you go. And we'll see what happens. So, Baileys, Jaeger, got, and Parlinka. Good health. I got the peanut butter and uh, banana shot here. Oof. All, All right. right, cheers. 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 Now drink your drink. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that will, um, <laughs> I that guess will it put, didn't do it for you. That will put hairs on your, on your hairs. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the Whoa. Jaeger, probably. It was the Jaeger or the Parlinka. Something came, something overpowered the Baileys. <laughs> it was the Baileys. Well, I'm not sure what I know. Uh, what's Parlinka? I don't know if it's, I know that one. Uh, it's from Hungary. I was I was given that oh. by a Hungarian. Oh. Um, I guess you get around, as they say over there. I guess you get out. That's what um, yes. I said. There you go. There you oh, go. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Said, oh, how weird is that? <laughs> yeah. okay. Anyway, so Simon will be coming up here in a couple of sets, um, and we'll be talking to him as well about some music and. Uh, what's going on with him right now and then uh before we go to my set i did want to mention a few things we have some announcements we have a couple of on community after dark's twitch channel we have two events coming up we have one on february 24th which is in honor of international ebm day which i'm excited about we're going to do a video stream on there from um I believe it starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Coming After Dark's Twitch channel. So that should be a good time. If you're interested, uh, please come and watch us. We would love to have more people. You can subscribe to our channel on Twitch, download the app, and um, subscribe. And then on March 6th, we're also going to be recording our 13-year anniversary show on that day. Plus, we're going to be doing a live stream that night um, with Mouse, myself, Whoever else is interested, Kiger is going to be there, I know. I know DJ Kiger is going to be there. So maybe we can all be there. We'll see. But it, but it's an honor of our 13-year anniversary on Twitch TV. So please make sure you mark that date down, February 24th and March 6th. 13 years of Community After Dark on that day. And um, I talked to uh, DJ Griffin uh, just the other day. And he said, yeah, he said, keep going, he told me. He said, keep it up. And he's, he's still very serious about coming on this show at some point in 2021 for at least one show. I don't know what the date's going to be or anything like that, but I'm I excited mean, about I'll, that. I mean, I'll regardless just, of when it is. I was going to say, I'll just jump in there and I'll say, obviously, I remember Griffin. And that is the best new good news story I've heard in Ex a long time. If Griffin can exactly. make another appearance on Communion After Dark, because we all miss yes. him and love him very much. So that would be yes. fantastic. Yes, I've missed Griffin, and uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. I mean, it, I really, you know, so keep encouraging. If anybody else who talks to him, encourage him some more because he's interested, though. He's very interested in doing it, so it's just a matter of uh, when he wants to do it. And then YouTube, any of our platforms, we have a link tree up where you can go to our link tree. What's the link tree address again, Miles? Do you know it? Yeah, um, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Communion After Dark. Okay, so we have all our, our platforms on there that you can listen to our show. If you go to our link tree, subscribe to our show. We really need you to subscribe. 
and comment. That's very important as well. Comment on the show. Uh, all right. Um, I'm next. Come back for some more exciting music, and we'll talk to Simon a little bit too after my set. See you soon. This is Kim from After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Paradise.
tried to take apart The violence that was growing through the anger in your heart You wanted to be true, I wanted to be you I ended up believing there's too many shades of blue I made my choice to run, but I didn't hear the gun And I finished up conceding life is better in the sun It's just better in the sun Just knew I was running blind I'm tired You're bored I don't wanna do this dance anymore You're a hand grenade You're a nightshade I don't need to hold my neck to your knife blade I'm tired You're bored I don't wanna do this dance anymore You're a hand grenade You're a nightshade
We are back at Community After Dark. I am Paradise, and you just heard my set. Uh, the last time my set was by a band called Nature of Wires. Hey, they're from the UK, where Simon's located. Um, and that was featuring um, Medill Hardis um, on vocals. Um, Medill Hardis is familiar maybe to some people. She just did a song recently with Ashbury Heights. And the new track that Nature of Wires did was called Through Someone Else's Eyes. It's a digital single. And that is coming out um, this coming Friday, I believe on February 12th. It has not been released yet. So thank you to Nature Wires, uh, Gary from Nature Wires for sending that over. Much appreciated and hopefully you enjoyed that track. It's very Delirium-esque sounding, but good, good, good. Her voice, real good voice. Um, I don't know much else by her other than those two tracks. Um, the fifth song I said was by a band called, or sorry, I'm sorry, the sixth song was by a band called Love and Revenge, and that was a song called Angel. That is off the Angel four track EP that was released on Tree Soul. Uh, Angel, uh, I'm sorry, Love and Revenge is Rask, or Rasco, or Rask, I don't know how you say his name, uh, from Rottersand, and then um, Axel Ermes from Girls Under Glass. Great combination of artists. Uh, you can't go wrong with that project and this I mean sounds a lot like I thought like listening to like Roger Sam music but I mean regardless of what it sounds like it's just a good combination of two artists who've done a lot and Axel Hermes also is part of Cassandra Complex as well um, so and he also had a lot to do with some of the Wolfsheim stuff that came out obviously years ago before they broke up um, 
The fifth song on my set was by Uncreated, and that was the song Hand Grenade, featuring Mark Hawkins on vocals. And Mark Hawkins, of course, is from Mesh. And that was uh, off the Hand Grenade EP that is coming out on Konzoom. Um, that was sent over by Patrick Hansen from Uncreated. So thank you. I love Mark Hawkins' voice. I love Mesh. I don't think there's anything he can't do wrong as far as the way he sings. Um, and um, Patrick will be joining our show at the end of uh, February. So we're excited about that as well. They have him actually on the show at the end of February, but um, that's a good, good track, really good track. And I'm, I appreciate him saying that early so we could play it on the show. Well, uh, before that, Paradise played New Imperative Reaction. Ted Phelps and the boys are back uh, with the song Intertwined. And that's off their latest release called Mirror. Um, I think it just came out last month or end of last month. Maybe even beginning of February uh, on Metropolis Records. All right. And then prior to that, we heard Aesthetishish. <laughs> I'm sorry. Statish. 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 Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. These bright sparks. Say Fabricio. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on the sound of Matrix 22. Out on Alpha Matrix. Yep. And Fabricio, I talked to him and he said that that is his new, well, it's on that compilation, but he did mention that that is going to be track one on the brand new EP that Statish is putting out, which comes out very soon um, on Alpha Matrix. And it'll be a six track EP. So that was um, the first track off of that EP that'll be coming out. But that's also on that compilation if you want to get it now. Really good track. I've always loved his stuff anyways. I mean, since he started with A Gas View a million years ago, seems like now. Um, but very talented artist. Uh, you know, maybe we can get him on the show someday too, which would be nice. Uh, the second song I said was Brand New Blue Tingle. I had to play this, of course. Um, and that was a song, Nobody's Diary, that you heard. Uh, that's off the Nobody's Diary single, which is an uh, advanced track coming off of their new um, release. And that is on Out of Line Records. The interesting part, I guess, about that track is that Chris Pohl doesn't sing on it. It was just, um, I forget what her name is, the, the, other, the girl in the band. I can't remember uh, either. Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to mess up her name, but yeah, no vocals from Chris on that one. But I, I really enjoyed that track. It's got that like '80s vibe, synth vibe to going to it, and with with her vocals, a pretty cool track. And I started off with brand new Aesthetic Perfection, um, with the song Party Monster, and that was featuring Jinx, um, J I N X X. So it's not the same Jinx that was in there. Yeah. yeah. Or saying hey to, um, and that was on <laughs> that was uh, off the Party Monster oh, yeah. um, two track um, EP that he released on Bandcamp that just came out. Uh, Daniel Graves from Aesthetic Perfection um, has basically, I I believe, he his goal is to release one song a month moving forward in 2021, and if he gets to the end of the year with, I guess he said like all 12 months with a single, then he'll be releasing an actual full length album, but. Thank you to uh, Daniel. He actually sent that over as well. So thank you to that to him for sending that. I love the new track though. Good stuff. He also and, posted uh, the, um, just mm -hmm. today that that track "Party Monster" has reached number sixteen on the iTunes Rock Chart. And wow. he's like, "What? <laughs> That's awesome! Good job for Daniel." I know. I, I like the I like the new track. I like the way he did it. I, I like the guitar. I like the the way he did the vocals in the track. Um, the singing and all i thought the melody was really good yeah, it's good 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 song he um he will also be on our show but that'll be um sometime in march but next week before i forget we do have jamie black blacker jamie blacker from mm -hmm. esa he's yeah. also from the uk another, is, you, yeah. another 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 englishman he'll be coming on the show next week joining us here so that'll be a good time as well so but yeah we got simon coming up so Simon, you're still um, and you got so many projects. You got well, you got SD KTR. You had then you have Humans Can't Reboot. That was the last one you did. Yep. And you got Simon Carter versus Studio X. Still, yep. I believe. Yep. So what's what's um, what's coming up next for you? 
and I've got Narconic. Yeah, I've got uh, several several <laughs> projects under under my belt. Um, I have got some some future plans. Definitely, I want to um, do another album with Humans Can't Reboot um, and okay. take it take it probably more down a, a synth pop uh, route. Uh, you know, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Empathy Test and 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 your mate uh, Mr. Kitty, listening to nice. a lot of that yeah. stuff. And yeah, so you know, I'm thinking I might try and take that down that route slightly if i can um and yeah loads of plans i, I also want to do a bit of a, a sort of um you know industrial techno album as well at some point because i just recently did a remix like i did in my old style i loaded up all the old vsts and stuff and i had a lot of fun doing it and i thought you know what i fancy doing a bit of that again so I, yeah i've got a lot of things planned um awesome. but don't don't expect it you know next week <laughs> it takes some time <laughs> You still are like, will your releases be on Alpha Matrix still? Anything um, you probably, put out? probably split, probably split, self release okay. and, and Alpha Matrix. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. Depends and so, project, yeah. um, so this, so right now, though, you don't have anything currently that's going to be coming out like in the next month mm, or so not, at this no, point. No, nothing in the next, next month, I'd say. No. Okay. So, but, but hopefully something in 2021 we'll be oh, looking definitely. for at some point. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because the, the last release you did, if I'm not mistaken, was the Humans Can't Reboot. I think it uh, was. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. And that and was did, in 2019? Uh, last year, in fact, 2020. Oh, wow. And, and we did actually, I did actually manage to also get a, uh, an album and an EP out for um, uh, with my work with Studio X. That's right. That's right. Yep. I, it's so hard to remember last year. I apologize. So uh, <laughs> you'll have to forgive me on that one. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last year was such a blur. I don't even know what happened and what didn't happen. I do remember, though, earlier in the year when you put out the, now that you say that, the the, the Humans Can't Reboot and the Studio X uh, versus Simon Carr. Is it Simon? Which, which way is it? I, Simon Carr I'm, versus... I can't, I'm, I'm, happy to be, I'm happy to be in the background. Let, let Studio the X go first. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Studio <laughs> X is first and then it's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Right cool yeah so all his releases i believe if you can find them would be on Bandcamp. i'm not if i'm not yes. mistaken i know alpha matrix anything they put on alpha matrix you can find on Bandcamp for yep. sure so make sure you go support the artist support simon listen to his music on uh streaming i'm sure you guys are on spotify yep. as well yep so you can stream it go to Bandcamp, buy it purchase a digital copy purchase some songs if you just want to purchase some songs but uh, as we always try and promote on this show, definitely help out if you can. So we'll, we'll talk more to Simon about his projects and um, and, and what he's doing in the, after his set, which you got coming up next. You got a DJ set coming up, That's right. which I'm excited about. So uh, come back for some exciting music from Simon with some of his own stuff and some remixes and stuff. So it's going to be a cool set. We'll see you soon. Communion After Dark. This is Bradley Bills from Chant, and you are listening to Communion After Dark, keeping the underground undead.
Okay, yeah, now, fuck off. Welcome back to Community After Dark. I'm Simon Carter, and you just heard my set. Uh, and you, that last song that you just heard was um, Simon Carter featuring Mr. Beast and Fabsy, and the song was called Oh Yeah. And there's, it, it's, it's a bit of a joke track, um, so that, that's why um, it got played. Um, it's only the second hard style track I think I've ever made, but there is a bit of a story behind it. Um, I made it on New Year's Day, in fact, um, quite hungover, and we had, uh, <laughs> yeah, we had a we had a sort of a video chat going on the previous night, um, and there was a chap a chap in there called Mr Beast who had been drinking for forty eight hours straight, and he was just going, <laughs> yeah, and he was just going, oh yeah, in the microphone, you know, like the Kool Aid guy, yeah, like the Kool Aid guy. So so we we sampled that. Oh my um, God. Yeah, and well, and then it, and then it gets worse. The next morning, I woke up and I, I looked at my mobile, and I, and I had a voice message. I thought, "Oh, how last decade? I don't usually get many voice messages you know, these days." So I'll give this a listen, and that was literally it. Three or four words telling me to f off. <laughs> so I thought well, I should be quite annoyed about this, but no, no, no. I thought I know, I know better. I'll sample it and stick it at the end of the song. <laughs> so. So she can be, um, she can become famous from from telling me to f off. Wow, <laughs> oh, that sounds great. And by the way, it's like we we're, we're all good friends, so it's all harmless fun. Yeah. So that that's the story behind that track. It's a bit of a joke. Uh, that's a blast, man. That guy sounds like a blast, <laughs> Mr. Beast. Yes, yes, he's he's a very good lad. Forty eight hours of drinking, holy mother yeah. of God. He was on a, a Mr. Beast bender. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He was going for it, which is why his "oh yeah" sounds a bit laboured and tired. But it's okay. <laughs> it, it worked. It worked. It was a it was a fun track to do. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Um, and before that, it was yep yeah, my project SD Carter K R T R, featuring Naomi Aurora. She's from she's a singer from Helen in Flowers, um, and that was Rise, and that was the Aesthetic remix. Uh, which is, as we previously mentioned, that's Fabrizio Viscardi. And that was released on Alpha Matrix Records. Uh, there was a, yeah, a good remix that he did for me there. Prior to that, Counting. yeah, prior to that, it was Studio X versus Simon Carter featuring Bridget, uh, Solar Flare. And that was, uh, again, released on Alpha Matrix Records last year. And it's also on the new compilation uh, that, that Mouse mentioned previously that they've just released. Um, okay. Yeah, that was. Uh, I actually, I actually wrote the lyrics to that track and another track on the EP, Lost at Sea, for, for a different project of mine. But, but I found myself um, two tracks short of an EP. Um, that, that makes me sound like I've got a bit of a screw loose, doesn't it? So yeah, we were two <laughs> two tracks short of an EP, as it were. Um, so I, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I managed to use them. Um, in it was. Um... Who's uh, Brigitte or Bridget? Bridget. Bridget. Who's Bridget? Bridget. She is uh, an Australian. Um, she's okay. a good singer. She's done a couple of tracks. I think she did one recently. Ooh, the name escapes me actually. But she, she's she's around. She's in the scene. She's a good singer, and she's happy to sing. Um, okay. Feel free to contact her. Um, aspiring, you know, artists. She will she will sing for you. Um, and prior to that, uh, it was my project. Humans can't reboot with fading. Uh, and that was the Narconic uh, remix, which is also me. Um, I, I've got into the habit of remixing a lot of my own tracks under under my different projects. Um, when I get bored, that's what I tend to do. Um, <laughs> and it often comes out better than the original, but hey you are. Nice. <laughs> um, and prior to that was Aesthetish, featuring Naomi Aurora again with In My Aurora. And that was my SD KRTR remix on Alpha Matrix Records. So again, that was Fabrizio Viscardi. And I, I, we have mentioned him a lot, but I would just say I've worked with a lot of people in this scene. Right. He's, one, he's one of the most genuine top top blokes out there. He really is. He's, he's, a, he's a sound chap. Um, got a lot of respect for Fabrizio and all the work he's done. Really, really nice guy. Um, it'd be great if you could get him on the show. Um, and I started off with my track uh, for my project, Narconic which was Monkey Business 2.0. Now, here's another coincidence, because I believe last week you had Daniel on from yeah. Massive Immense, right? And yes. you played his 
the their track Monkey Islands. Right. Right. Well, a couple of weeks ago, he he messaged me about that track, and I said, "Well, I've done a version as well. I've done two versions, and <laughs> here I played Monkey Business 2.0." Um, we, we you know we, we we never did figure out who who actually copied it first um but that's besides the point because his version is quite different his has lyrics in i couldn't come up with right. any i couldn't come up with any pirate themed lyrics to, to fit the track um, <laughs> yeah and besides we all know you know I, nothing rhymes with them um, surely we'll all avoid scurvy if we eat an orange nothing rhymes with orange <laughs> Door hinge, so. yeah. So that was <laughs> that was my little, track, yeah, exactly. That video game. Exactly, um, that's exactly where it's from. Uh, sorry, uh, it's the same title as a, a Pet Shop Boys song from the new <laughs> album. Oh yeah, yes. the new song, the new Pet Shop Boys is called Monkey Business. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's a good clever. point, Gold. Yeah, Pet Shop Boys made a song called Monkey Business just recently from their last album. That's right. I yeah. I was naming it Monkey Business to avoid it sounding too much like monkey island the game <laughs> where the where the main theme does come from <laughs> yeah. that would have been cool if it was a, if it was a uh, comp if it was a duet you do with the uh, pet shop boys <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you yeah i'd, I'd be down with that <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 exactly <laughs> I mean, you need to contact neil and tell him hey look neil, we need <laughs> yeah. to do a duet Mr. together <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah, yeah good good simon i like that you actually uh you know promoted most of your stuff on there which i like and um which i think is a good thing when when we have a guest on here promoting their own music and um did you guys have any questions you wanted to ask simon i mean since uh well um you've got so many projects and everything i was going to ask you if um you had like a memorable live show that you might have done? Have you done live shows? Like, I no, know. well, this, I, what I could say is, is interesting. I, I used to DJ a lot when I first started out. Um, and for whatever reason, well, I, I think I started to enjoy making music more. I started to enjoy the creative side. And then I moved full time into doing studio work. And in fact, that, that set that you've just heard, that's the first time I've even Mi attempted to mix music since the last time I was on Communion After Dark, which you could probably tell, wow. I'm sure, was about five or six years ago. Um, yeah, I just went full full time in, into the, the creative side of things. Uh, I found I got more more joy out of uh, that. Do you know, what? I, I do enjoy hearing one of my tracks if I'm on the dance floor, though, <laughs> but, but no longer up in the DJ booth. And, and that suits me just fine. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Did you have a question? How about um, uh, what were the uh, the early bands that got you into making electronic music? Oh, that's a good question. Um, when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of the sort of the harder dancer stuff, and then into the more trance stuff that was coming out in the UK. A lot of BT, um, Space Brothers, uh, um, the KLF, of course. Um, I know that uh, Jason Kiger is a big, he's a big advocate of the KLF, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know he's a big advocate of them. And then they, mm -hmm. they did an awful lot for music. And of course, well, I think Scooter learned everything they, they know today from the KLF. Um, so, yeah, that, that, those, those were the sort of bands that I used to listen to and enjoy. And that was really how I hooked up with Studio X, because he, he was always known for his hard, hard dance stuff as well. Uh, and we sort of both had a, a, a love for the, for the dark scene, but you know the dark scene over 150 bpm <laughs> let's see what we can do <laughs> yeah, I, was gonna, I was gonna i was gonna yeah that, that that makes sense because i was gonna say like a large amount of the music that you guys make is is much faster in nature especially with the, the that that project yeah it definitely know? definitely bordering on hard dance for sure for sure but with a dark right. edge with a dark alternate edge always yeah it, yes it definitely has a darker edge to it and then your last project that you just did which was your own humans yep. can't reboot. Now that went more in the style of almost like I don't know. I'd say like a like a mainstream type poppy it, sound, almost a little it bit. It really did. It, it it did. It went very went very soft. And and as I I've noticed, as I've got older, the BPM has slowed down, and I've got softer and softer <laughs> with my <laughs> productions. Uh, I don't know how or why, but. Maybe it's just so I can play something to my family and they'll actually listen and just go, what's that noise? Instead of what's that noise, you know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that makes sense. And then you're um, now like with, with your last album you did, um, you, you have a large amount of guest vocalists. Do you 
Do any of your own vocals on any of the songs, or is this yeah. usually your guest? Yeah, <laughs> some, some of the some of the some of the stuff we did with Studio X was was me, or you know. But I mean, okay. a lot of it's so um, so distorted that. It's it's fine. It could be could be the guy down the street, you know. No one sure. <laughs> needs to know. Um, but no, I, I don't think I have a fantastic singing voice. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so you prefer the pro- the production part and then making yeah. the music as opposed to singing on it. Yeah, but the other, but I I, I do write all all the lyrics for all the all projects. the lyrics. Okay, all the lyrics. So you, yes, yeah. so you're composing everything basically, and then just just finding somebody to kind of work with you on the tracks. Exactly, and and I'm and I'm I'm a pain to work with sometimes because I I'm I'm back to front as a as a producer. Almost every producer will produce an instrumental track and then mm-hmm. chuck it over to a vocalist or, or lyricist and say, you know, can you come up something that suits that? I, I write the lyrics first, <laughs> which can be okay. very, yeah, it can be. I know it's back to front. Um, I've tried doing it the proper way around and I, I just don't get the same results. Um, I, 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 I write the lyrics first, come up with a vocal melody, then I start working with a vocalist on that. And then you find a vocalist. Add, yeah, okay. then I add the music at the end. Yeah, yeah. It I know makes it's sense, though. I mean, yeah, I think that can work. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I saw an interview recently with the guy from Ashbury Heights, and it sounds like he does a large amount of similar stuff where, not, I mean, he has a singer in his band, but it, like some of these songs he's doing now, he, he basically made them, and then he's trying to find vocalists that fit the tracks. Yes, yeah. And yeah. so, I mean, And that you know, is always the hardest part, finding a, a voice right. that suits the track, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Great, so... And um, yeah, I remember when we first had you on. Um, you know, we you you were um, in Belgium at the time. That's right. Yeah, living there. Yeah, because yep. we used to talk about that. And then um, and then you moved over to the UK, and yep. that's where you're stationed now. So, but you but you were born in the UK, correct? That's right. Yep, I'm I'm English. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah, makes sense. So, all right, Simon. Well, we're we're going to talk more to you um, coming up in your after gold set and and as the show goes on before we're done with the show so but thank you for your set that was good again like i mentioned a great set and i I like the fact that you went ahead and promoted yourself and i think that's that's part of a you know the dj's uh, prerogative but i like when when people do their own projects and find stuff that they've played so people can see what you've done and if people are interested then they can go out and check those uh, bands out and stuff um so yeah, check them out. And, and like I said, a lot of his stuff is on Alpha Matrix, so you can go check out their uh, Bandcamp page, and he's all over their Bandcamp page as well. Yep. Lots of stuff on there. All right, Gold, you're next. Uh, I guess we'll be coming back from some hard music from Gold. Come back. This is After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Gold. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Rage, 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 rage.
lightning. They do not go gentle into that good night. Rage. Rage.
ich euch wieder hier versammelt habt und mit euch Nacht durchtanze. Da steht wie immer DJ Pult, unser Gott der Beats. Wer weiß, was ihr wollt. Auf der Tanzfläche. Echte Männer tanzen nicht, ist jetzt kein Argument. Schnell, 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 in alle Richtung DJ. Die Hände nach oben. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Communion After Dark. I'm DJ Tom, and you just heard Retro Junkies with a song called Dirch Dynak, Dynak from their computer Schucht Libre 2.0. Okay. That's it. They're self released. Oh, okay. All right, they cool. deserve a label. That was Tom's pick of the month, by the way. For, yeah. Um... Yeah, check them out. They're really good. It's fun. January. I've been yeah. told that every time I say knack in German, it sounds like naked. Yep, but but it's close to close to because you can be naked yeah. in the knocked. Knocked. Yeah. Well, you got you got have the you got to put that like uh, pronunciation. Yeah, really hit it like knocked. Knocked. You know? Okay. Yeah. Right. So prior to that, we heard Black Dale Cabaret. They're back with a new EP called Maelstrom, and that's the Fixation mix from their Maelstrom EP out on Dependent Records. I believe that's digital only. Fourth song in gold set was by uh, Twin Tribes, and that was a brand new track that they just released called um, Portal in the Void. That was a She Passed Away remix, wow. Um, and that is on the brand new um, release that is called Alters on Negative Gain. Now, I don't believe that's out yet, if I'm not nope. mistaken. No, if you pre if you pre-order that, you get, if you pre-order it today like I did, you get five songs off the album. Okay, well, that was actually sent over as well, Gold, by um, Christian Banks of Fade in PR. He sent us over a promo copy of that as well. Um, well for yeah, the normal people, for the normal people, you get five songs up front, which is pretty cool. Five, 
Well, that's a lot. Five. Yeah, that's a good, good, good amount of tracks. Well, a lot of them have been released and we've been playing them on the show. So there was like the Night remix and the uh, Cultivalia remix. Um, oh, okay. I think we might have done the Ashco remix too. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a remix album, just like the uh, oh, okay. Passed Away remix album. Yeah. All right, cool. Good a deal. Big, a lot of big names on it. Yeah. Uh, before that, Gold played New Kanga with the song Moscow. And that's from You and I Will Never Die on yeah. Artifact Records. Yeah, we talked about that the last time. And then part of that, we heard Invisible Devastation with a song called Prophecy, and that's the Cut Off Sky remix of the Proce- on the Prophecy EP, and that's on uh, Home Trend- oh, Skyco Records. Right. Yeah. Thank you yeah. to Skyco for sending that digital over as well. They have yeah. provided that to us. Yeah. If you like uh, Prodigy, that mix sounds a lot like them. Yes. And then yes. started off with a new leather strip. He's got a brand new album coming out. The pre-orders started this week, and the song is called Stigma, and it's a new album called Back to Industry on his own label, LaBelle. So that's a new album he's got, Gold? He's got, or? Two, he's got two new albums. He's got an album called Back to Industry, which is all brand new material, and uh, it was the last album he made that, that Kurt got to approve all the songs on, and then he has a, a, another volume of Depeche Mode covers coming out, and they both went on. Uh, nice. But you got a couple tracks off... Uh, the the new album when you pre-order that awesome well there you go a bunch of new stuff on there on your set gold so good job yeah and um yeah so the kanga you play what is that like a pre-order as well because i know we don't have any dates on these hers is i want to say april 12th early april okay this is like this is a second single this is a second single that she did Uh, i think there was like some video that went with it or something like that or she debuted it on a Friday, last Friday. Nice. All right. Awesome. Yeah. So, so Kanga is back and some good stuff on there. All right. Before we go to our last song, we'll talk to Simon a little bit more, but we also want to read our donations for the week. Um, I believe mouse has got that. And then make sure you come back for the last song. And then after the last song, we'll read some comments, talk a little bit more before we leave. Um, so to stick around for the end of the show, do not miss that. All right. So here's some donations, uh, that have come in. Thank you guys so much. These are all monthly donators. Thank you guys. Um, so thank you, Kat Lee from Tampa, yeah, uh, Michael Fincham, Steven Urquieta, Matty Valius, uh, Marcus Koenigstein, Luis Garcia Rivera, Stephen Hussey, also from Florida, uh, Tobias Sargent, Will Frisk, Crystal Mutchler, uh, Shelly Wiley, and the crew at Ravens and Rockers. Um, John Dillinger, who does a double monthly donation. Thank you, John. Uh, Arpan Lakra, Jill Polynesia, Ashley Gray, Ben B, Joseph Fair, uh, Anders Arstrand, Neil McCombie, Roland PNR, Brian Willard, Daniel Weiss, and Marie Kiefer. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you all of you. We appreciate that very much. Uh, we did get a one-time donation from Danny Guzman. Thank you, Danny. Uh, one from Mina Holiday from Atlanta. She says, it's Macabre Raven slash Mina Harlot slash Mina Holiday from Atlanta. Thanks for the great mix today and always. It is, uh, she actually sent that um, during our Twitch stream we did um, this past week. Or past, well, past uh, Friday. Past Friday, so that was nice of her. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And then we got a donation from Tina Ferris from San Diego, California. She says, San Diego. San Diego. She says, I watch your music shows on YouTube all the time. You've introduced me to so many new bands. Every time I listen, watch, I learn new bands and new songs. I love your passion for synth pop, dark wave, dark electro, and industrial music genres. Your commitment and your creativity are unparalleled. 
I love the weekly shots, the guest DJs, the bonus shows, the sound bit intros, the visual art, your logo, and seeing your faces in your awesome rooms on YouTube. I found you by accident several years ago, and now I'm a dedicated listener. Thanks again for all that you do to this music scene. Thank you, Tina. Everything thank you. Top notch, and we sure appreciate you. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. That's awesome. Wow. Yes. Yes. Now I, need, now I need to go back and watch Anchorman again. <laughs> Every time I hear San Diego, I got to go back and watch Anchorman. Yeah. I need a wheel of cheese. A wheel of cheese, yeah. All right. So those are our donations are for the week. Uh, if you want to donate, you can go to our link tree and the options on there, or you can go to communityafterdark.com and um, the donate buttons are up there as well. We appreciate any help you can give us. Uh, it, it does help us keep our show running, so thank you very much. And so Simon is going to be picking, he actually picked the last song on the show. Um, and Simon actually will be starting the show off with, uh, with the sample too on the show is from Simon as well. So we yeah. got a lot. Simon really this contributed is, on this show. This is a, a sheer of Simon Carter vanity episode, isn't yes. it? Oh. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. In fact, in fact, you're going to be the model too for this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we appreciate you coming on the show. We appreciate you playing your music. We appreciate all the effort you've put into supporting our show over the years. Because I know you've you've been on, like you said, a few times in the past. A number, it was like three times at least, I believe, in the oh, past. I think it was um, probably possibly more. It might, might have been more. Time, I remember yeah. you were on a number of times when Griffin. Yeah. And we were all, you know, yep. it's like you said, I didn't realize it has been, it had been as many years as it has been because time I, just seems to disappear. Yeah. I oh, hadn't realized it had been so many either. Um, you know, I think it might be about five years um, since the last one, but there was a spate, like you say, where I was on quite a lot. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I appreciate all the effort and all the music you've, you've been putting out there over the years. Um, you've done a large amount of projects for the scene, which is really nice. And, I like the look too. Like like you and Gold got that look going yeah, yeah. on now. You, we are you look, we are going to form like a new you, band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, yeah. Are, we are he, we are we are headset and shades. He's headset. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. But go yeah. back and check out uh, the stuff you put out last year. Um, yep. The Humans Can't Reboot album, which was self released if I'm not mistaken. That was, correct. Yep, that's correct. Yep. All right, and then the Simon, uh, the Studio X versus Simon Carter release. Yep. What was the name of the album again? We we did a we did an album, uh, and we the, our latest release was the Our Promise um, EP. Our Promise, and and okay. I think you think you played a track off that. I think you probably we, might we have did. played the title we track. Did. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that and that came out in 2020 as well on Alpha Matrix. That was on Alpha Matrix. All right, so thank you again, and uh, you're going to finish off our show. That's right. With a last song, we allowed Simon, because Simon was like, yeah, I want to pick the last song. We're like, of course. So yep. that's awesome. So what's the last song you're going to play? So I rummaged around in my record collection because I wanted to try and find something a bit different, something unique. And at the end of the 90s in the UK, we had this sort of a dark trance subgenre was forming. Um, sadly, it didn't last too long. Um, but the tracks were very unique. And I've picked a track from that genre which is uh yeah it was by a group called the morrigan uh john and cecily who are lovely people um they also had a another group actually called crescendo that released some dark trance tracks around that time and this track is called remember to the millennium um and i think it's a good choice because it's, it's like i said it's very unique give it a chance but it's also quite got quite a poignant message you know as we try and move away from the rubbish that we've just all recent the world mm -hmm. recently been through and we're going to have to sort of remember who, who we are eventually so enjoy this track awesome all right great and then stick around for the end of the show we'll have some more comments and talk a little bit more so uh, enjoy the track we'll see you soon us what we are is the life that burns in every star will it be that our legacy is just the dead machines of a senseless world
back communion after dark we got some comments for you um mark where do these comments come from uh most of them are from youtube because we asked people to comment on youtube i think the first couple are there was one that we we took from um, mixcloud and one from uh, facebook All right. so you never know where we're going to take the comments from so definitely comment on the show that's the point all right we got a comment from arthur Watchkick. It says, I really like your community conversation and the great music. Keep work. Best greetings from Germany. Thank nice. you, Arthur. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Arthur. Uh, 
JT says, great set as always. Dinah Lakayan covering The Cure's The Walk. Really gorgeous. Many, many years ago, I attended an unplugged concert of Dinah Lakayan in Hamburg. The show was amazing, culminating in Mr. Horn climbing into his great piano, using the interior strength like a harp. Really crazy. Wow. Uh, wow. Also, he says, mouse likes vodka. Mark suspected it already a few weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> and then he says about Daniel from uh, Massive and Mensch, Offshore Electro is a really cool subgenre name for your music. Discovered the city blazons of Verrell, Wilhelm, Wilhelmshaven, and Hamburg in the background. Thumbs up. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, nice. thank you very much. Uh, Nicholas Ray says, Paradise, thanks for broadcast the Argentine band, Balvanera. Yeah, that was my yeah. pick of the month, Virginia. Good, good album. Definitely check them out. I'm glad he likes them. Uh, Paratronics TV, who was a guest not too long ago. Yeah, a couple said, weeks ago. Nice episode. Love the guest set by Daniel. And I'm a big fan of the new club edit by Massive and Menchu's Monkey Island version. Well, yeah, so there you go. And then Simon played, Simon played a version of it too today. So that's kind of cool. His own version. That's right. So, I don't even know what Monkey Island is, which is the funny part. Like, <laughs> I guess it shows game. how much I play video games. I know oh. Pitfall. I remember Pitfall. It's a, it's a different kind of game. It's like a, um, a graphical point and click adventure game done by Ubisoft. Okay, Park. all right. And there's like, there's three famous ones, and then there's like, it just kept going and going. There's like remakes and upgrades. Uh, and okay. You can go on all YouTube right. and look up Monkey Island, and you'll see them all. I'll have to check it out then. I'll have to check that out. Just check out the theme tune. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, one more comment from Rebecca Van Herk. He says, I just wanted to say it's been a rough week in my head for me. And I switched on this show and everything was okay after that. I really do love the music and appreciate the DJs and the artists. Everything they do to make this show a reality. You guys are awesome. Much love and a big fan from Australia. Thank, Thank you, you Rebecca. Thank you. That's awesome. So, uh, we are basically done, but I want to thank Simon again for coming in and playing his music and talking about his uh, his um, projects that he's done on the show. And, you know, I mean, I mean, in his own music world, of course, and that you can find out there, which we definitely suggest you support, support what you can go listen to his uh, catalog. Um, Simon, do you have any like um, parting thoughts or anything you want to uh, say? You know, before we um, um, do we do we away? do we have to say happy birthday to Jeff Black? I mean, I'm sat here drinking an ale in his honor. <laughs> oh, good, good, Simon. Woo! See, Simon's on top of it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, happy birthday. We uh, I wish we had a shot. Happy birthday to DJ Black, the gothiest person on the earth. We love DJ Black. Hopefully, I'll see him that. again soon. Yeah, Jeff's a good yeah. guy, and he always used to post a lot about real ales. He was always drinking a lot of real ales. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but all right, Simon, thank you again. We really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Simon. You know, I appreciate yeah, all the effort you. you've put into helping us out over the years, which really you've done a great job, and you've been really kind to us. And um, you were one of our first, uh, believe it or not, you were, I believe you were one of the yeah. first uh, musicians we ever had that submitted a guest DJ set to the show. You and I'm trying to think who else it was, maybe like Dirk Steyer from Accessory, because we've been friends with Dirk for a million years. But um, but you were like you're, one of the first people that we right. didn't really know. I yeah, was first so. or second. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mouse told yeah. me. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. So, yeah, thank you very much, because that, that means a lot. And we appreciate, you know, all the support you've provided to us over the years. No, you're so, very welcome. Um, and it's, it's an honor. And then now, of course, you've gone all pinky in the brain and communion after dark has taken over the world <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i wish <laughs> that'd be great yeah but yep so all right well we will see you next week with uh jamie from esa and um we'll check you out then bye bye uh, you know and if you listen on mixcloud we have a lot of listens on mixcloud but heart the show it's, it's it, there's a little heart there when you listen to it on Mixcloud. Just just hit the heart. And we're on it's here. Simple. This. What is it? I'm sorry. We're on here. This now. 
Oh, that's right. That's a new platform. And that's a, that's a little different because hear this it, or heart this. Isn't it heart this or is it hear I, this? I think it's hear this and we've been saying it wrong the whole time. Is it, is oh, okay, it, is so it, hear this. Is it heart this or fart this? <laughs> <laughs> so it's H-E-R-T-H-I-S. Yeah, so it's hear this. You're probably right. And um, yeah, I, I don't know why I was saying heart this. Oh, there's no, okay, there's not two T's kidding. in it. But the um, but the player on that channel is is very similar to Mixcloud. We just added on to that channel, and that player you can actually rewind the show, fast forward the show, download. and you can download from there. So it's a it's definitely different than Mixcloud because I know with Mixcloud there's some limitations as far as how often you can listen, and you can't really rewind on Mixcloud and all the other stuff. So I know that kind of deters some people. Uh, YouTube, it's you know we we're almost at twenty seven thousand. Very close, very close to 27,000 subscribers now on YouTube. So help us get to 27,000. And then we got Mixcloud, of course, we're getting close to, I think like, I don't know, Mixcloud's like 8,000 or something maybe for Mixcloud, I'm not yeah. sure. But is that, is that something you really eat over there, crumpets? We do, right. we do eat crumpets, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they can be eaten okay. at any time of the day. So, so not just of, breakfast food. Speaking of butter, you saw the Johnny Rotten Butter commercial over there? Right, let's do it. All right, go Welcome ahead. Back. All right. Welcome back to Communion Sorry. After Dark. I'll stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> this is going to be the rest of the show now, isn't it? We won't get beyond this point. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs> Mm. 